Chuck Dirksy isn't texting a friend with his iPad. He's tending to his crops. This is the soil moisture. With an app, Chuck monitors soil moisture probes placed around his almond trees. Chuck uses a lot of water. On an average year, I probably use, I probably irrigate about three acre feet of water. That's 400 acres of almond trees drinking up water three feet deep every year. Scientists agree it takes about one gallon of water to make just one almond. And last year, Central California almond growers produced 1.8 billion pounds of almonds. If you do the math, it would take 680 billion gallons of water to grow that many almonds. That's more than three times the amount of water used in Los Angeles County every year. Water conservationists say almond growers and agriculture in general are drinking the state dry. This drought is nature's wake-up call that that's just not physically sustainable. Joseph Minton has represented the Planning and Conservation League on water policy for more than a decade. He says farmers are smart and eventually they'll find a way to cut water use by another 10 percent. But these are some of the great innovators in our society. So I fully expect that as their resources become more limited, they will continue to innovate. Bob Curtis of the Almond Board of California speaks for the state's 6,500 growers. Nearly half of them grow for Blue Diamond almonds. The, the water that we do use, we're using it very efficiently. And after all, agriculture and crops do need water to grow. Jonas Mitten says some segments of agriculture are switching over to the high profit almond crop, but overall, total ag acreage is down and will continue to drop as the market adjusts to California's drier climate. There are now more than 900,000 acres of almond farms in California, and the industry continues to grow. The acreage jumped 46,000 last year, planted with more than 8.3 million new seedlings.